I really think that there's someone else out there that probably has the same issue that I'm going through. And if I could help them, if this is anything worth to them, worth, if this can stop them from doing something self-destructive, then that makes me feel better about myself. That makes me less depressed because I'm helping someone that's in the same situation as me. If you can get a resource like this, where you have people that describe their symptoms, that describe how it affects their lives, that is incredibly important. Depression is, is very individualistic in how it, it presents and why it presents. So to have another resource out there for people like me that are, that are afraid of talking to their family or that don't have friends that can help them, this is going to be very important in their journey of control over their illness sharing people's experience of what that looks like or how that feels um, could create a lot of compassion and understanding for people who are afflicted by depression. And that was something that I, I wish I would have gotten because I think that if my friends, like through college, who had known my history of abuse and trauma, if I do believe that if they were actually really understanding of what I, like, of what it felt like to go through depression, then instead of stigmatizing it, then I probably, I don't know, I probably would have gotten treatment sooner, maybe, or I would have, um, and maybe I would have healed a little bit faster. If this helps somebody out in some way, that's great. And I think that that's like pretty much what motivated me to do it um, because I guess I'm just kind of tired of it being a silent issue. <laughs> I, I would love it if people were more vocal about it um, because I think that's where solutions happen. So um, yeah, I mean, I, I know I am a private person, so this has been pretty not, uh, you know, something I would normally do, yeah. but I, I think it's good to kind of open up.